Thanks, Kim. You usually can't go wrong when you include the word refund in anything. For example, the word tax, bad. The words tax refund, good. That might just be what Slate Refund had in mind when building their platform. Here's Jacqueline Hong with more on the new Slate on the Block, Slate Refund. Watch out, Bruins United and Students First. You've got a little more competition this year. Nine candidates from Slate Refund are running for the first time in the 2006 USAC election. Slate Refund's platform consists of one goal, to return the mandatory $120 USAC fee, which is allocated to student groups, back to the students. People, um, their property is their own and they should be able to do what they want with it and that includes their money. And so if they're not feeling like they're getting their value worth from student funds, then we don't think that they should be taken from them um, without their cooperation. Getting back $120 may seem like a great deal, but some students are concerned that student groups will lose the funds to organize events that make UCLA the lively campus that it is. If we gave this refund back to students, I think we'd really be shortchanging them because uh, student groups really get a lot of mileage out of this funding. I mean, from each student, it's not, it's not individually a very large cost, um, but what we get out of it um, really is a big impact on what they can do and what they can participate. Many delegates believe that Slate Refund's platform is simply unfeasible. It's actually logistically impossible. Um, in my work in USAC and just kind of through knowing the system, um, to get, uh, to refund everybody their money would take a uh, ballot initiative um, that they would have to pass through council um, with two-thirds majority um, and then they would have to get, I th they would have to get a majority of the students to vote for um, such a ballot initiative, I think. Some students have even questioned how realistic Slate Refund's claims are. What's presidential candidate Gareen Hovinissian's response? people who like to, to call Slate Refund a, a joke Slate or, 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 or ask if, that, if we're doing this to, to get attention are sort of, are, are sort of distracting from, uh, from, from the main topic. We have a serious message and the message is that students deserve their money. Students should have the choice, students should have the freedom. The process of reaching Slate Refund's goal may seem unfeasible, but it is not impossible. The results for this election will be announced in Kirkoff on May 18th. For Brew News 29, I'm Jacqueline Hong. No election is complete without, you guessed it, independent candidates. UCLA's USAC elections are no exception to that rule. Here's Janice Jan with more on this year's independence. With the USAC elections in full swing, students often hear the word slate tossed around. What exactly is a slate? A group of individuals with similar ideas pulling their resources together. Bruins United, a slate. Students first, that too. Few candidates, however, rejected the traditional slates and instead declared themselves as independents. Why go indie? I think this year we saw a lot involved with slate politics involved in the process and nothing got done. I want to really bring awareness to the students of what USAC is, what we do, and what we're about. That is for every student, not for certain groups, not for certain slates. My commission um, historically is usually non-political. It's more um, interested in being advocates of the students that do service on campus. Dependent is a good thing because it means that I'm already in the organization so I think that it's better because hopefully students will recognize that it takes some experience to be able to do the job well. Being independent allows me the freedom to you know, make choices in what I believe will be the best uh, for all of the students. If these independent candidates don't want to represent any particular group, then why are a large number of them members of the academic advancement program? Could there be a new AAP slate for me? Just because I'm a member of AAP, which is basically dictated by my socioeconomic standards, that that has something to do with an AAP slate. I mean, I can still get other members and say, well, since you belong to a fraternity and sorority, are you a fraternity and sorority slate? Mm -hmm. Some ideas for the future USAC sure are unique. Dorothy Lay hopes to initiate more environmental awareness around LA. The pledge, it's a really innovative idea and it's been done on campuses all over the nation. It goes something like this, like I pledge to be aware and take actions um, in my everyday lives to be socially and environmentally responsible. In-house candidates Farheen Malik and Ravi Dehar hope to continue and improve on their work. Will the independence different way of thinking help gain or lose votes? We'll just have to wait and see. For Brewer News 29, this is Janice Shan. Sure, the slates seem nice enough, but don't be fooled by any Slate's or candidates' campaign promises. Here are Bruin News 29 reporters Anthony Pura and Jamie Farrell-Ranker with a look at campaign promises. 
then and now. This morning, I promised my roommates that I would take out the trash, but it's still there. It seems like I have a bit in common with you SAC officers. Every election year, it's the same. Promises, promises, promises. But once the school year starts, they seem to just disappear. Well, I think that's probably what candidates generally do, is promise things that are probably less than likely to go through. Remember all the promises made last year? Remember Student Power, now called Students First? Remember their promise about improved health care services and creating gender-neutral bathrooms? How about Bruins United, the majority in USAC? Remember their promise for a pub in Ackerman and their promise to bring back Taco Bell? Those were their promises then. Let's go to Jamie to see how those promises are doing now. Jamie? Well, Anthony, whatever our USAC officers are doing up on the third floor at Kirkhoff, students don't feel like there have been any changes made to our campus. Over the four years I've been here, like campus has been about the same. I don't actually see any difference. Um, I don't know what to expect. I just don't really believe that things are going to get carried through. Aside from an increased supply of contraceptives, the student power series of health reforms never made it past the waiting room. And the Ash Center's policy is no different than it was last year. Sometimes our goals aren't only um, looked at as one-year one terms, um, but instead laying the proper groundwork. In Bruins United Major Slate Pledge, the Barn Ackerman, which captured a lot of votes last year, they'll drive its promise. I don't see a pub there, but um, from what I heard, um, I think there were problems with getting another charter for alcohol. Students did get their Taco Bell back, but they should be sending their thank you letters to the Board of Directors because Bruins United had nothing to do with that. But Students First is coming through with one thing, their promise for gender neutral bathrooms. And as early as the end of this quarter, there will be tampon machines and urinals in the same bathroom. The important thing to remember this election is that you'll be hearing a lot of promises now and you shouldn't expect to see a lot of visible changes until much later, if ever. For Bruin News 29, this is Jamie Farrell Ranker. Now that we know more about the slates vying for power and even their limitations, let's find out what exactly the Undergraduate Students Association Council does and what these candidates can expect to do once they move into Kirkhoff. Every Tuesday night, the Undergraduate Student Association Council, USAC, and the 411 Kirkhoff to make decisions about how to run the school. What really is USAC? There are 13 elected positions, as well as over 70 different appointments that are made by the council each year, as well as about 20 student groups called student advocacy groups that the council sponsors. First up, the executive positions, president, internal vice president, and external vice president. The president is the leader of the council. He or she is the spokesperson for all of the undergraduate students. The internal vice president deals with a lot of the administrative items of the council. And the external vice president is the representative of all undergraduate students to anybody outside of UCLA. So elected officials at the local, state, and national level. Next up, the general representatives. So there are three general representatives, and they have the responsibility of addressing needs that are not covered by the commissions or the executive offices. And finally, the commissioners, academic affairs, campus events, cultural affairs, facilities, financial support, student welfare, and community service. So there are seven commissions, and they each address um, needs that are specific to the student body that are consistent over the year.